The next hand. What do we have? Four hands we're doing, or? Uh, four hands. So this yeah. is number three. Oh, kings! I've seen this before. Oh, this is Aaron. He's gonna get me this time. <laughs> so uh, raise oh, another gun. Good with old kings. David. David flats with jacks. Damn it, David! Why don't you three bet here to make Wayne win this hand? <laughs> oh, David, you're so tight. All right, Ryan, very good player, solid player, plays in the show a lot. David, solid player as well. And then uh, you have Aaron here, who's played a bunch in the show. So uh, four-way pot, and uh, you're probably like, damn it, why can't someone three-bet so I could play heads up? Yeah, or I could just, you Shops. know, not make difficult decisions. So, okay. of course, ace flops. But, okay. Okay, so, I'm going to let you take it from here. Well, okay, no. L what happened? So does Aaron check here? Yeah, Aaron checks. Okay, so now it's on you. What are you thinking? I check because I'm just essentially going to give the hand if somebody is willing to bet this. Right, right. I think the default here is a check. You're four ways. It's different if you're heads up. You could sometimes bet. But, right. But uh, four ways, I mean, you have to feel like somebody, somebody has, has an ace. An ace yeah. yeah. So, okay. So, uh, it's checks, checked around. Checks through. Okay, 10 on the turn. Okay. Again, you still have to feel like somebody has an ace here. Yeah, there's a lot of draws. So, everybody's checked except for Aaron, essentially. Right, once. So, yeah, yeah I'm just saying, like... So you think he could be making a move? Um, yeah, I mean, it's... I was just going to uh, call one barrel and then fold on the river. Cause, yeah. Um, because the thing is, if you look at the board, it's like you could have a hard draw, you could have a club draw, you could have queen jack. What about the you know, players behind eight. you, though? Well, they checked them around the flop. Yeah, but that but people go for check raises. Like, um, like Ryan, I'm saying. Ryan's out of position. And, and David could have tens. He, that's true, too. So let's pause it real quick. So... Uh, it's tough in a four-way pot. People don't bluff that off in multi-ways. Yeah. And uh, if they do, they don't. They don't bet. They don't bluff two streets, right? Well, now right. it's heads up, so it's different. But uh, even on the turn, like people just aren't bluffing often enough in a four-way pot. Yeah, I, I kind of leveled myself because I'm like, okay, you could have hearts, you could have clubs, you have queen jack, you could have seven eight, um, and it's just like. And, and everything bricks in the river. Yeah, and, everything bricks in the river. At the same time, it's a bad uh, river for him to bluff. I don't know if he's on that level where he knows that, but it's hard for him to bluff that river. Right? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, I checked the flop, so I technically... You're capping your range a little bit. It's it's hard for you to have an ace here. Yeah. When you raise pre and, and check flop and call turn, because you're going to want to protect... If you had a big hand here, like even ace king, ace queen, you want to protect your hand against all those draws. Right. So like you could do something weird with those hands, like check flop and like raise turn. Yeah. But you shouldn't just check flop and just call turn with that hand. You're not going to do that very often. Right. And so he's not going to think you have an ace um, too often. That's true. But at the same time, uh, what are you going to call with? Right. You're either going to have a draw that brick that now there's no point in betting. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, he doesn't think you have an ace. Um, you're not going to have a set or anything, or you have exactly what you have, like kings or queens. Right. And so there's nothing else you can really have here other than a brick draw or kings and queens. Yeah. Right? I mean, does that make sense? Yeah. I think so, at least. Most of the time. Obviously, every hand's different, but... Um, so he pillages me here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's tough to fold this river when you call turn. I, 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 if I call turn, then yeah, I, I would call this river, especially when he tanks like that. Yeah. Uh, it is... Uh, it looks like value. It's half pot, 200 and the 385. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he's the type that's going to, like, bet value amounts as a bluff, right? Yeah. Like, usually you can figure out bet sizing if it's a bluff or not. Right. Unless it's a really good player, then they're going to be balanced. Yeah. But against a rec player, they're probably going to, like, bet bigger when they're bluffing. Yeah. Right? And then we just throw out whites. Like, usually it's a it's value, right? Yeah. When you bluff, sometimes you make, like, some, like, Weird ass. Money, like yeah. 265, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I just throw oh, out, no, like, I do If the you same casually thing, throw yeah. out a white chip, you're like, 100. <laughs> you know, usually it's like sick value. Right. Right. So, um, so yeah, if I were to play this hand again, I would just fold the turn and just give up my PFR. Yeah, because somebody else in, in the hand could have you beat, too. Yeah. Right. And I'm upset at myself. Four way for... pots are just tough on A side board. Yeah. Someone's going to have it. I think that's like the. I mean, it's such yeah. a basic lesson, right, right, but right. I think that's like <laughs> it's the more the moral story. <laughs> but the ace so. on the river just like leveled you in a call. Yeah, right. And that's what sucks sometimes. You, you know, you don't want to call, and then you get a certain river, and you're like, oh, but call turn. I have to call river. Yep. And you know, it's not always the case. You can sometimes uh, reevaluate and just like rethink all the information. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes you might have a, a, a what's it, a epiphany? Is that the word? 
Epiphany, sure. that's a word, right? Brian, is that a word? Epiphany? It's a word. I don't know what you're you trying to do. You have an epiphany. For. Like, all of a sudden, you didn't realize something, but all of a sudden, it just comes to you, and you just think of something. Sure. Yeah. Right? Is that? Did I ever use that right in that's a sentence? That's fine. Yeah. I think so. I'm not an English major. <laughs> all right. We got one more.